What, what up, up Mitch Mafia? Mafia? It's your boy Sheik. And your girl CC. And today we back. We back with we another are video. Officially back. Pop, 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 pop. I gotta put that. I gotta put the sound. What's pop, pop, pop? The sound. I gotta put the sound. What's the sound? What is that? Come now, you don't know the sound. Now you wanna act like you don't know the sound. Pop, No. Pop, pop. No. No. Boop, boop, boop. No. We back. We back in New York. Officially, officially back in New York. We yeah. back in New York. We living in Manhattanville. Check us out. We the pro. I cannot believe we moved back to New York, babe. Yeah, this back is, to New York is crazy. Who would have thought? This is nuts. We didn't tell you guys that we moved back to New York, but we did. We, we couldn't take Florida we, anymore, y'all. Yeah, Florida sucked. It really did. It big was, time. It was too hot. It was just too much. Expensive. Like it was just too, too much. Yeah, so we back. We're back in New York. So now we're back we, in the Bronx. We're not in the Bronx. Where we at? <laughs> I can't even lie. <laughs> we did move. Yes, y'all, we did move, but we but definitely we, we didn't, didn't move back, back to New York, York for sure. Now. No, we, we ain't going back to New York. We're, we're still, still in Florida. Florida. Facts. We're still in Florida, but we moved out of the house that started everything here in Florida. We were renting. We didn't own. We came to Florida wanting to rent because we wasn't sure if we even wanted to stay in Florida. All right, so where do we begin? I have my phone here because I did um, go on Instagram about a week ago and asked you guys to ask us some questions. So we do have questions here, which is why I do have my phone here. But let's talk about the move and why we moved. So, all right, let's talk about the house first. We moved into that house with my sister. Yep. And the whole point of moving into that big house um, was for us to have our own space. And to and save some money. To save money and for us to get on our feet. Yep. Which it served this purpose, y'all. We was there for almost two years. Yeah. It was an old house, but very, very big and spacious. And that was my favorite part about yeah, the house. Yeah, the space. It had the a space. lot of space. It was... It was enough room for everybody. Even when our family came yeah. over, they had rooms to, they could just be in the office room. They could be in the dining room because there was nothing there. So there was space for everybody. And we had all the parties there. Yeah, all the, all the get togethers. Yeah, all the get togethers, holidays, yeah. all of that was in our house. So we loved that. We made memories there. And you guys were on that journey with us too. So now, Fast forwarding some, okay? My sister moved out. And before my sister even moved out, we were already looking around just to see if yeah, we, we could did. find. I yeah, looked around. Mm -hmm. yeah. We were looking around just to see if we could find something else a little bit smaller. Um, because we knew that it, it, it was coming down so my sister was leaving. Yeah. And keep in mind, y'all, this rent was not cheap. Okay, Florida is very expensive now. The rent is not cheap and all these things. So there was a lot to consider. So we already had started looking. So where we are right now, we can't give too much detail. We don't even think that we're gonna do a home tour, but we're still really thinking about that. So this place that we're in right now, we seen this place when there was nothing. Yeah, remember we remember that? Yeah, we did we did we actually do a video? We never shit, we never posted it. We did it because you couldn't. We couldn't see nothing. There was oh yeah, there was built. nothing like no countertops. It was nothing there. They were just showing basically the structure of the house. Like, That's it. Dishwasher is gonna be here, and this is gonna be the laundry room. And you remember she told us to put on our hard hats and yeah, just we visualize had, yeah, it. Yeah, I remember that. Yep. She was like, "Here, I gotta put y'all gotta put your hard hats on, and I want y'all to visualize." the tub being right here and the kitchen being right here literally it was nothing and during that time it was like all right god like we can't even move into that so it is <laughs> what it is what it is right now you know but we did say when they finished building it we wanted to move in yeah but then we were just like okay um because of what it is and how it's built and all these things like again we can't give too much information um the the rent here we found out the rent was really really high remember that yeah, we were was. just like okay that's crazy so not that it completely left our minds but it was just like okay that's too high we're gonna be paying more um there than the house that we live in we might as well just stay in the house that we're at so now my sister now fast forwarding my sister leaves and Sheik and I we find uh we were in the house and we were just like we're gonna stay here until God says it's done you know and so god says it's time for us to go we're gonna stay here that's exactly what we did and then an, an opportunity came yep and we strike and we strike that was all god though this was all god so basically y'all that place that we seen is the place that we're living in praise god because only god did that 
Facts. God did that. Like, he did that. Everything is modern and you could definitely say more it, luxury. It's, luxury, it's yeah. definitely luxury. Um, and it's a blessing, y'all. It's a blessing and straight from God because only God can do that. This is also temporary. Yeah, we're not going to be here for long. I'll God give willing. It, I'll give it maybe two years. God willing. She say one year, but I think two years. God matters. willing. Whatever God says. We want to be homeowners. We're tired of renting. We're tired of all of this. Like we, we're ready to own a home. We're praying and we're just hoping that just God just guides our every single step and God willing, we'll be homeowners. And that's it. We're gonna leave it at that. Amen. We moved. <laughs> you make me happy. Je Jesus is good. So we've been here for about what? Maybe almost three weeks. It's almost been a month. It yeah, hasn't been a month. month. Yeah. It hasn't been a month. Um, we haven't posted in about like 20 something days but and that's, let me tell yeah, you. that's only because we've been busy with the oh move, straightening everything out if y'all would have seen how this area looked uh. when we first moved i'm talking about for the first maybe week yeah you couldn't or even so. walk through here mm -hmm. it was bad like yeah. I, I was getting frustrated every time i walked through the door yes. and i'm like yo like something gotta give this is first moving everything then let me tell y'all <laughs> the freaking elevator broke on moving day moving day so we had two trips with the truck we brung the first stuff mm -hmm. me and Ciara's dad brung everything upstairs it didn't break what happened it was a sensor issue because uh, I don't the, know. somebody was holding the door for too long it was definitely me it was like real like the, the elevator was real bougie this day but go ahead <laughs> yeah so we did one trip me and him brung everything up we got the first Mm -hmm. And mind you, we had a big truck. And yes. we had to take two trips. We went back. Three. No, it, it was, was two, two trips with the truck. Oh, okay. We had to take like five trips with the car. But um, we went back, got filled the truck up again. I'm talking about filled, like you can't put nothing else in there. Yes. I didn't even know we had all that stuff. Oh, God. I had no idea. Me either. Me and we either. packed the truck, right? Well, the second time we didn't really pack it. Right? Yeah, we were just we like, just I'm sick of this. Yeah, at this time we were tired. Yeah. We came back and... um. See, our brother was here, and he was like, yo, I got a break from my job. I'm going to help y'all out. We pushed the button. Elevator's not working. I said, yo, mm -hmm. thank God we have a garage, yes. bro. If we didn't have that garage, I don't know what we would have did. No. I would have slept outside. You would have had to. <laughs> we had to slept in the U-Haul. Sleep in the U-Haul. <laughs> I would have been carrying every... That would have been crazy. The next day, my body was shot. I know. I had he to call was, out of yeah, work. Yeah, yeah. Like, Shalik was in so much pain, and I felt so bad because I can't help, y'all. Like, I, my back... Like, I just could not help. I did as much as I possibly could in the house, like getting everything situated. But there was really, I could not carry, I could not do any of that. So my father, of course, she, Pete my brother, our, our good friend, Pete. Yeah, I really, shout out to yeah, them. Shout oh out to everybody. Yeah, I appreciate y'all like, so oh, much. Oh, goodness. Like, God is just so good to us. But they were really able to help out. So it was just like, and that's just nothing. Like the enemy was so mad, y'all, about us getting this place. I'm telling y'all, like there's a testimony that I'm going to do a separate video about. I, I shared it on Instagram, but I have to sit down and share this testimony with y'all because like the enemy really didn't want us to have this blessing. Like yeah. he really didn't. But praise God, like I said, I'm going to keep praising him because God be the glory. He's so good. But yeah. So the first week or almost two weeks, the apartment was crazy and we wanted to film. But mentally, y'all, uh, I was so drained. And, it, you know, if your mental is not right, nothing is right. You know, so mentally, I was just really tired up until now. I mean, I feel a lot better. I'm so happy that we're sitting here yeah. doing this video for y'all because... Sheik and I were just like, once we put out this video, it's up. Yeah, like, we got, it's we're gonna up. flood y'all with man. Yes, video. like we're so excited to, you know, for this journey, this new chapter. We're so grateful for everybody that has been encouraging us, who's still sticking beside us. We right. love y'all, you know what I'm saying? Um, because a lot of y'all understand, you know. Um, but yeah, a new chapter. Yeah, I, I really do appreciate you for making all of this come together because yo she did her thing i'm talking about every day this girl is working my butt away. i got this i did this put this up for me babe do this i got this look i moved this yo this girl is working bro but you know what too like i wouldn't be able to do it without you you know what i'm saying i had to make sure that our home was home for y'all i wanted you and the girls to be as comfortable as possible That's i didn't it. want you coming home from work and having to <laughs> feel sad or feeling because honestly your environment matters it does 
coming home to a, a crowded and everything in the living room, boxes and all of that, I didn't want that for him. And being that I was home, you know what I'm saying? I'm like, I could get these things done. So little by little, every day he came home, more and more boxes was, was gone. They would disappear and I'm yeah. like, I can see the floor. <laughs> no, seriously. So it has been a little journey yeah. so far, and it, it's still just the beginning, but we're really grateful. Yeah, we got a lot more to we do. We have so much to do, but little by little, taking it day by day. Y'all don't want to see our room. <laughs> <laughs> our room looks like we just moved no, in. No, literally. Nah, literally, we went in the room. The first thing I did was make that bed. I'm like, I'm building this bed right now. Vacuum the floor and build that bed. I'm like, we sleeping with no TV. I don't care about nothing. No, yeah. I just want to lay in my bed. We had to lay in our bed. Oh, we slept in the, the first night. The, the first, first night. two nights. We slept in the kids' beds. The first two nights we slept in the kids' beds. We were still comfortable, but there's nothing like your own bed. Yeah. Sheik was like, I'm sorry, babe. We have to, because I remember what he said um, that first night the elevator went out and we had to put our bed because th their bed was already upstairs. The first trip that came, that when they oh, came, yeah. the elevator worked. The second trip is when the elevator went out. Yeah. So she I was able that. to get the girls' beds upstairs, but our bed stood in the garage. Yeah, because the second because trip. Because the second trip. Yeah, because yeah, we have a big bed. So the second trip, we and she couldn't carry that. Like, he wasn't trying to have my dad and Pete and my brother carry that mattress up the stairs. So yeah, he was like, you know what, babe? Bed. It's fine. But we, two days, we went without our bed, which is, it was still fine. We were with the girls. So it was a cozy first two nights, but we were so excited to sleep in our beds. And we literally saved our room for last. It, our room is a mess. You guys are actually going to see it because we're going to... We're going to clean with you guys. You guys are going to put our room together with us. Yeah. And uh, we're going to film all of that for you. But our room is terrible, y'all. Like, we saved that for last. Everything else is it's pretty much bad. done. Everything is in this place except for the dresses. Like, y'all going to see. Yeah, you guys are going to see. I just feel like it's so messy. Like, I want to shampoo the rugs. I want to I've been saying that since we moved in. Like, Sheik was able to vacuum and stuff. But I actually want to shampoo the rugs. Um, we're going to show you guys the girls' room. I mean, maybe we could do a house tour. I just don't, I don't know. Let's see. Let's see. Because I feel like, honestly, it's more about safety. You know what I'm saying? But I feel like every single apartment these days, they all look alike. You know what I'm saying? But I don't know. We'll, we'll see. We'll cross that bridge when we get there. But you guys are going to see everything for the most part. Um, the, the apartment is coming together really well. Yeah, it's looking nice. It's almost done. There's just a few things that we have to do. And then, yeah, y'all, it's just time to get to work and just put out content for y'all. And, yeah. Anything else? Any updates? I'm trying to see, like, what else? Because <laughs> it's been a minute. <laughs> Oh, 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 the yes for Jesus. Let's talk about the yes for oh, Jesus. Yeah. Let me update. So if y'all don't know about my brand, a lot of y'all, if y'all know, y'all know. I have a Christian brand that's called Yes for Jesus. And I've had this brand for years now. Um, oh my goodness, I had the exact date on my mind the other day and I can't even think about it right now. But it's been, I think, seven years. Dang, it's been that long. Seven years since I've had this brand. And... Um, God is just making it so clear that my brand is needed. Like, so many times I second-guessed my brand, and I was just like, it, it, y'all already know. If y'all have a brand, if y'all have a business, y'all already know how it feels to have your own. And it's just like, ah, is it this? Is it that? Is it good enough? Is it? Y'all already know. So for seven years, okay? And, yeah, so right now I'm just, like, trying to get back to it full force. Not trying. I'm doing. You're doing it. I'm, yeah, I just, I'm so excited for what God is doing. But now I have visors. I'm about to get more visors. She has, he has the bucket hat on right now, which I love this color. Let me fix this for you, baby, because, yeah, let me fix that. <laughs> oh, yeah, we also um, going to need the website. Yes. Right at the bottom of the screen In right the description. here. So you can just click it and get your ticket <laughs> Feel me? yes i'm gonna leave the the website in the description below y'all so y'all can go just check it out um i'm gonna be adding a lot more in there the journals the bible study journals the church notes all of that i'm gonna be adding everything on the website so i'm really excited for what's what's happening what's to come and i'm just allowing god to just do his thing y'all I'm tired, I'm tired of being in walking in fear or feeling like I'm not good enough. I'm tired of that. This entrepreneur lifestyle is different. It is. It's, it's not di easy. It's different. You, as you go more into it, you start to understand more and you start to learn more. It's, it's good. I and like. It's not I love easy. it. I love it. Yeah, like you, you're literally 
literally beside of course there's people that you know rooting for you and you know they're supporting you but you have to be your biggest fan you have to be your biggest supporter you have to be your biggest motivator you know of course god first before all because god is the only uh, the only one that's gonna make it happen for you right he like you we need god like i know i do i, I wouldn't be able to do it without god's strength but like you literally have to believe in yourself to do to be able to have your businesses and all these things because it's not easy, y'all. No, Try not. promoting yourself every day. Like nobody's gonna promote you like you. Yeah. Promote every single day. It doesn't matter who's who's getting upset. Let them delete you. <laughs> <laughs> let them delete you. If they upset, let them delete you. It is what it is. But it's so important that you promote yourself heavy. They don't even know what I'm doing. No. Shelly got something up his sleeve too, which I'm so excited about. I'm good. I keep it to myself. You, I mean, you can talk about it nah, if you I don't want. want to talk Not about yet. It. Not All yet. right, we don't gotta talk about it yet. Because yeah, you gotta. We gotta wait for it to. Once when it it's take, in the works and it takes off, then we talk off, about it. Yes. I'm still not gonna talk about it. I'm gonna still keep it under my sleeve. Cause I'm gonna just sit back and relax and, co and collect, collect my thoughts. We're just grateful, y'all. Keep us in your prayers. You just inspire me. You know that. You make me want to be greater than what I am. You inspire me, and I'm sure you inspire so many more people. I get to sleep with this woman. I am very inspired. Like, yo. To God be the glory. The things I be hearing you say, I just be like, I, in this video, you're going to see me like this, look, staring at you. Like, yo, you really inspire me. Like, I'm proud of you. I love you. I don't know if a lot of people tell you, but I'm proud of you. To God be the glory. To God be the glory. Because I'm learning. I'm learning. I'm I'm an entrepreneur at heart. I was born for this. Can I have a shirt? I'll but buy it right but now. But it's not easy. I'll buy you a shirt. <laughs> and I'll and that's it. another thing, y'all. Like, I'm trying to get my merch back out there. Not trying. Let me stop saying I'm trying. I'm doing it. But God is working. God is working. God is working. But I'm excited. You're I'm right. excited for what's to come. I'm so excited that we sat down and did this video, y'all. Because let me tell y'all. It took a lot for us to do this. This video we've is been, important too. No, it's so important because we've been talking about doing this sit down and we knew that we could not kick our channel back off without this video <laughs> because it wouldn't even make sense. It's like, first of all, why y'all been missing for all these days? How y'all been missing for almost a month? We've been speaking about this video for like two weeks. Bro, longer than that. Like, yeah, we gotta do a sit down. We we've been sit -down. we've been talking about this since we've been living in the other house. That's how long we've been talking about this you video. Read about that. Yes, we've been talking about this for over a month now. We were supposed to do a sit down before we left. Before we even left. Yeah, you're right. I didn't think about that. Yes, but anyway, y'all. So this was, you know, we've been talking about doing this video for a while, and it's because we have been so distracted with everything that's going on, we haven't had the chance to sit down and do this video. And right now, the girls are calm, they're chilling, and I was like, babe, we have to kick off our youtube channel we have to get back on so here we are we are back officially and you know pray for us you guys for us to get up, get out of our heads and get these videos done now we have an island now where we could do the challenges <laughs> and now we could get crazy like the lord is working amen god is just he's so good yes he is he's answering prayers and Lord, thank you. But yeah, I think that was it, right? So the first question is, what was it like moving from New York to Florida? We answered this question, but we can answer it again. It was exciting, but it was also scary at the same time because yeah. you don't know what to expect. You don't know how it is out there. You hear a lot of stories and it was a journey. It has been, a, it's still a journey. Yeah, it had, definitely has been a journey. And I'm not sure if you're referring to literally how was it moving like being on the truck <laughs> or actually really just moving from new york to florida but if you're talking about the, the drive never again <laughs> if you're talking about the drive uh never again um but if you're talking about just how it's been um it has it's been a journey it's so different from new york but also the same it's like the weirdest thing like i feel like where we live it's like it's like new york but a little bit more calm. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But it gives New York but calm. It's a so friendly New it, York. Yeah. So it's it's been It's, it's like Throsneck. <laughs> right. If you know right, if you know about Throsneck, it's like Throsneck for sure. It's a hot Throsneck. <laughs> yeah. Um what has been your biggest parenting challenge not seeing eye to eye on? Oh, I have one. 
So the foods. I yeah, was saying I was that, just about to talk about that. That's what foods. it is. I'll give them snacks and she's not really a snack person. And mm -hmm. I'll give them that because everybody deserves a little treat. I don't just be out here handing them snacks like, here, candy, candy, candy. No. Every once in a while, they can eat a little snack. But she was like, no, mm -hmm. no snacks and let's just plant-based and healthy. <laughs> yeah, no, I'm... Listen, you don't have to reward your kid with candy and or just snacks. You don't have to. This is just my opinion. my opinion and how I raise my kids is how I raise my kids and what I do with my kids is what I do with my kids. I don't feel like we have to reward them with candy and snacks. We don't have to do that. Sheik is more like, he's more lenient. You know, he's more like, yo, they never have candy, just give them a piece of candy. They never have that, just give it to them, no. Like they're, they don't need that, you know? So- it's Cause you're I, a health freak. And I- <laughs> There's nothing wrong with that. No, you know what it is? Like, it's not even that I'm a health freak. I'm just, it's like, I'm learning. And because I'm learning and I'm seeing things, I can't unsee it. Yeah, once, once you I know- Once I see it and once like, I know, now at this point, it's just like- I know what's in there. Yeah, like I know what's in there. I know it's not good. And it's like, why? You know what I'm saying? So, and again, I'm learning and when I see what the, you know, what these things are doing to our bodies and all these things that have all these ingredients for no reason at all, it's like, okay. So she has his moments. Like he said, he's not like here, here snacks every day, but once in a while he will take them to the store, take them to the gas station or whatever, and he'll give them candy. And I'm like, oh, not candy. oh I mean, not candy. I'll snack. give them the, the like a chips or yeah, a cake chips. or no, something. No, I will give them the freaking what, cake. What is it? Chips? <laughs> it's a cake. What you, what, cake. You, what you give them? I'll get them cookies. Cookies. That's what I meant. Cookies. I'll get them cookies. I won't get them no Oreo cookies, super stuff. Yeah, no. I ain't doing nothing like that. Like, I'll get them plain chips, like, stuff like that. But I used to go crazy. Takis. Yeah, because it's the brands, too. And I'm like, babe. And so, and again, he'll be like, yo, it's not that serious. Because, so we we don't really see eye to eye on that. But it has gotten so much better. Because Sheik is now on, like, all right. Mama wouldn't want y'all eating that. Y'all not going to yeah, eat that. Yeah, I say that. They try to get me every time. They Can do. we go to the store, please? I really want chips. <laughs> I said, if Mama was here, would you ask for chips? Right. No, so you're not getting no chips. Yeah, <laughs> so we're we're getting better with that. Yeah, I ain't trying to fight with well, no freaking chips. She has his moments, so he has his moments, and I know when I was away because I went on a women's retreat to Pennsylvania. I know they were walling. No, nah, we actually wasn't. No. The only thing we ate was I ordered them food, and they ate um, French fries and fish. That's the only thing. Oh, okay. But other than that, oh, they ate. Yes, we did wall out. We went you to see? the movies. You see. We had popcorn, Skittles. Skittles. He gave my kids Skittles. And we had slushies. I was correct. You had what? Hmm? You had slushies? <laughs> Sorry, y'all. The memory card went out. So, back to this slushie. <laughs> yes. The sl All right. So, when you go to the movies, if you get the pack for the kids, it come with popcorn, which is all you can eat popcorn. You just serve yourself, which is lit. That's what we always go get. A pack or is it a combo or something? It's a combo. Oh, it's a combo. It's called a pack. Oh, it's called a pack. Okay. Yeah. So, you get the... Popcorn is all you can eat popcorn. Mm -hmm. You get a little mini slushy, and you get a little mini Skittles. That's it. They bust the Skittles down. Of course they did. A.B. took a sip of that slushy. was like, mm-mm, mm-mm. I want water. <laughs> I had to get up in the middle of the movie and go buy her water. That water was $7.99. Oh. And I bought two of them because Zara mm -hmm. said she want water too. I spent like $60 in the movies that day. They I got would, me. I would never. And uh, the, the I would never. The crazy thing is, they didn't even watch the movie. After they finished, <laughs> after they finished the snacks, they said, "All right, time to go." I said, "Oh yeah, you see." Now, Abby no. said, "Daddy, this movie is not over yet." <laughs> I said, "Nah." They fell asleep towards the end. I watched. It, it was a good movie. Which I watched. Planet of the Apes. Oh. That's because that was the only PG. 13 13 movie. Movie, yeah. Everything else was like curses and stuff. Even though that he did say one curse in that movie. He did. Yeah, he said. <laughs> That's because he almost <laughs> fell off the cliff. Uh oh. Yo, the whole freaking audience started crying laughing. Yeah. Because he <laughs> the almost. Ape yeah, the ape, he fell off the cliff. He almost fell. He got up and he said. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. What the heck? Everybody dying laughing. I'm A like. slushy. But you see what I'm saying? So these are things that but they, she didn't drink it. Though. Okay, but still, Zara, Zara did. did. Of course, Zara, I'm, sure, I'm sure Zara, Zara devoured was like, it. She devoured it. <laughs> Can I have hers, Daddy? 
Okay, you see? You see? So, yeah. So, I think that's, like, the only thing that we really don't see eye to eye on sometimes. But, it, like I said, it is getting a lot better where Sheik is now understanding. And he's seeing, too. Like, he's reading ingredients now. And he's like, nah, this ain't it. So, um, yeah, that. And then, let me see. How did y'all... We just answer one more, y'all. How did y'all marriage get to where it is today? We'll answer that one. And that's it. I believe... Our marriage got to where it's at it's because of communication and understanding. Better communication, understanding. Yeah. Understanding and being honest. Yeah, being honest, um, definitely. You know, checking in with our mentals and just just being present, being present and just listening and just it it takes a lot. Okay, marriage is not easy, but it's so worth it because remember, this is somebody that you you're seeing for yes to forever. You know, and yes, it's yes. not always going to be good. We probably wouldn't even be married if it wasn't for God, to be honest. We wouldn't be married anymore if it wasn't for God. So to God be the glory that we are still married. We're, we're doing great. Praise Our the Lord. Is coming up. We're about to make seven years. Ah, May 27th, y'all. It's our seven-year wedding anniversary. Can you believe that? You know who reminded me? There's a, a, one of our supporters who's like, yeah, wedding anniversary is coming up. Oh, you didn't know? I was like, no, of course. I knew you know but it was I'm a like, joke. But I'm like, oh my God, look at you. <sighs> but yeah, guys, it's just that, you know, we love each other and we're just like, we, we got to fight at it. We got to fight for each other. We yeah. fight for each other. We want to do this. Yeah, we want to do this. We want this. It's different if we didn't, but we do. So, but anyway, I feel like that's it. It's lit. It's, it's lit. up and it's stuck. You get up. <laughs> yeah, that's dumb funny. I don't think you're from the South. I it's, think you're from the South Bronx. It's, it's up and it's stuck, y'all. Thank you so much for watching. We love you guys. Let us know that y'all are excited that we are back. Let us know in the comments that y'all are ready because it is going down. Here. Make sure you guys smash that like button. Go ahead and subscribe if you haven't already. And turn on your post notification bell so you can get every single video. Every single video. Ooh, did I just sing that? I told you. She I felt like it. I just sang that. Sing it again? No. One more time. <laughs> we love you guys and we'll see you guys in the next video.